All right, just gonna do a quick video answering the question, is Islam's, the Islamic God, Allah, mentioned in the Holy Scriptures? And the answer may actually shock you. Yes, he actually is. The lowercase g, God of Islam, is actually mentioned in the Holy Scriptures, okay? Let's look at the verses that talk about Islam's lowercase g, God, variously known as Allah. So, uh, when Muslims say Allah is in the Bible, because they, they'll try to say that, I actually do agree with them. He is mentioned in the Bible, but not in the way they think, okay? Here are some scriptures that do mention their, their uh, lowercase g, God. So here is actually Allah getting booted out of heaven after an attempt of jihad against God. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 to 15. How art, there, how art there, thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. There you got right there. One of his names, by the way, he goes by, uh, Allah goes by many names. The Islamic deity of Allah goes by many names. One of his names he goes by is actually Lucifer. Here's the other verse. Another verse mentioning Allah getting booted out of heaven after an attempt of jihad against Jesus Christ. Uh, Revelation 12, verse 7 to 10. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, or also known as Allah, uh, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused him before our God day and night. Uh, in all seriousness, though, that is actually an accurate description of Allah, an accuser of the brethren. So that's how we know, one of the ways we know that the Islamic lowercase g God is demonic. Uh, Luke 10, 18, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Yeah, so there we have those verses about the Islamic lowercase g God, Allah, getting boot, uh, drop kicked out of heaven after an attempt of jihad against it. Here's also... Uh, a verse on a, priest, a portion of scripture, I'll put it that way, on uh, the Islamic lowercase g God getting drop kicked into the bottomless pit. Uh, Revelation 20, verse 1 to 3, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having at the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till a thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. Yeah, deceiver. You know, again, in all seriousness, that's exactly what Allah was. A demonic deceiver. And here we have Allah, the Allah of Islam, getting drop kicked into the bottomless pit after, you know, he gets drop kicked out of heaven during the time of Jacob's trouble. Now here is also Allah's downfall uh, after one last final attempt of Islamic jihad against the Lord Jesus Christ. Revelation 20 verse 7 to 10. And when a thousand years were expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up out of the breadth of the earth, encompassed the camp of sorry, encompassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they shall be tormented day and night, forever and ever. Yeah. That's the downfall of Islam's lowercase g, God, Allah, otherwise known as Lucifer or Satan, because that's exactly who uh, was behind Islam, a fallen angel. You know, the, the so-called angel Gabriel that came to Muhammad, because Gabriel, the actual angel Gabriel, would have nothing to do with Islam. Uh, it was a demonic entity, you know, uh, appearing as an angel of light. Okay, Satan himself is not an angel. Let me just throw that out there. He's a cherub, according to Ezekiel 28. But uh, he manifests as an angel of light. And I believe also the devil's spirits can manifest as an angel of light. They can appear as one. And that's exactly what the uh, entity claiming to be Gabriel did to Muhammad. And hence the birth of Islam, which is just a mixture of Arabic paganism and, uh, you know, selected truths from the Old Testament.
that's the truth. Islam is Luciferian, Islam is of the devil, and the lowercase g, God of Islam, otherwise known as Satan, also goes by the name of the lowercase g, God of this world, in 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. Plain and simple, Islam is satanic, and I make no bones about that. Don't be deceived. Uh, don't be deceived by this Chrislam either. Okay, Islam is of the devil, and there's no, there's no fellowship with light and darkness. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.